Since my childhood, I was very much keen to make films. At the age of seven, I decided to become a filmmaker. And of course, when I came sort of like in the early, I think, uh, uh, possibly at the age of 13, when I came to this country, I continuously kind of followed that dream. And uh, with that extreme uh, fascination about cinema, I the first thing I did uh, within uh, coming of a week, uh, I went to, I lived in the East End of London and I went to Dog Market. There used to be a market called Dog Market and I bought a camera, a super red camera for five pounds. And since then I started kind of capturing a uh, little bit of footage here and there. And uh, this is how uh, my kind of uh, uh, beginning of filmmaking. And uh, since then I joined uh, Four Corner, a film workshop in the East End uh, in, the, in the 70s. And uh, then uh, from then onwards I... Uh, went to the film industry, British film industry, watched, uh, worked as an assistant film editor for many years. And then after making one or two, uh, I think two documentaries, I um, made a feature film for Channel 4 uh, called A Kind of English. And after that, I went to film school, National Film and Television School, and um, done some short courses. So it's kind of a long, long journey as an independent filmmaker. And I made about uh, 13 films for... BBC Channel 4, including a few documentaries, a feature film, experimental drama, and short films. So it's kind of a long struggle uh, as an independent filmmaker, but uh, it goes back a long time. Well, this is something very interesting. Uh, as a kind of my background means a childhood uh, memories of uh, back home of Bangladesh kind of uh, brought back a lot of memories and particularly I became fascinated with the Bengali literature. And from that, I mean, I kind of came uh, across many fascinating um, our uh, uh, folk artists, uh, including um, Hassan Raja, Lalon and there are many others and then particularly Hassan Raja when I uh, came to know about his songs and his poetry I became fascinated one of the reason is about 165 years back this folk poet he became very renowned in fact I mean he was kind of discovered by Rabindranath Tagore and uh, he in in world philosophy conference in two places in in, in the 40s presented Hassan Raja in uh, Delhi and Oxford uh, philosophy conferences and his name came across as a wonderful philosopher who pro propagated very interesting philosophy and that particular philosophy kind of interested me about 165 years back a folk poet who came up with this wonderful ideas of harmonious living and uh, a beautiful kind of uh, living together uh, in terms of kind of different communities and uh, it, it it's like his simplicity and and the poetry fascinated me this film took about uh, more than 10 years to put everything together. It's partly to do with the funding because it's a film about a folk poet of Bangladesh. And I would say he's, he's kind of well known in Bengal, not only in Bangladesh, in even West Bengal. And uh, particularly that uh, because he is a Bengali poet and the storyline which doesn't kind of immediately attract funding agencies in this country, so I basically started looking for independent fund sources. Again and again, I failed, failed to kind of convey that. I mean, this can be a commercial film based on a poet. Finally, some of my friends who came up with money, some of the funding, and I started the project. Finally, it's about four years ago, I shot a little bit, ran out of all that money. And then obviously, I mean, it was a great risk that if I don't kind of complete that film, then I'll lose the entire money which uh, contributed by the friends. And then I finally, a uh, few months back, I had to remortgage my house and uh, go to India and Bangladesh and shoot the entire film. So the film kind of uh, took a long time. It's partly to do with funding. It took such a long time, but again, <coughs> to put that project together 
we had kind of renowned writers from Bangladesh, uh, two of the most renowned writers, Salim al Din and Sayyid Manjur al-Islam, and then finally uh, Masum Reza contributed a great deal uh, uh, on the script. And uh, it's a fascinating experience and journey altogether because uh, if you, as, as I said, that I went to see many people for the funding and nobody took uh, any interest, but it's few friends. And then again, who are these friends? These are the kind of people from around the community. They contributed money, you know, some of them, their lifetime saving. And this is how the project came about. So what is really wonderful it's, uh, the, about the project that it's a film made uh, out of love, out of love and passion. Of course, I mean, it took long time for me to kind of uh, sustain my interest. But at the same time, those people who were standing beside me all the time and said go ahead try your best and this is how I finally had to kind of take uh, I had to kind of remortgage my house and go and do the film so basically because it's a film I wanted to kind of make a an epic scale film and it's for the first time a Bengali film of this this nature uh, partly to do with uh, uh, because it's costing a lot of money so I had to kind of take a, one of the star from India. He's a very renowned film star, uh, Mithun Chakraborty, and then female protagonist also. Uh, she's very well known. Her name is Raima Sen. And there are a lot of wonderful uh, artists from Bangladesh. So it kind of a joint production in that sense. Uh, Indian uh, cameraman, the technology kind of a uh, lot of these uh, Film crews are from India and then a lot of artists from Bangladesh and the funding came from uh, in, uh, England. So it's a joint production be between UK, India and Bangladesh. Well, let me tell you a bit how did I choose first Mithun Chagraburti because I was kind of doing a lot of uh, research in terms of who could play that uh, character of Hassan Raja. And I could see from Indian subcontinent, I kind of knew about a lot of these uh, superstars and uh, I knew their background and then I again and again kind of a final conclusion of mine was that uh, the only person who could uh, reincarnate Hasan Raja is Mithun Chakraborty. The reason is uh, he's a living legendary, uh, one of the greatest uh, living legendary performer uh, we have today. And uh, exactly, I mean, I met him about uh, 10 years back and he kind of uh, agreed and uh, he waited all this time and finally I worked with him and it kind of uh, proves that uh, he was a magnificent uh, actor, kind of uh, brought back Hasan Raza on screen. And uh, this is wonderful to work with him. The experience is he was very supportive, he was very helpful. And of course, I mean, nothing new about him. I mean, he helped a lot of independent filmmakers and helped them in the past. And uh, he was all the way through very helpful and uh, trying to make sure, you know, that uh, we don't lose much money in terms of, you know, kind of total production arrangement and all this. He took a great deal of care. I went to India and Bangladesh and kind of work with a, a large crew, you know, more, more than 100 people in the crew. And everybody, because it's a film about a legendary folk poet, and everybody kind of um, came with a helping hand. And it was a, such a wonderful experience to kind of work with these people. And uh, I don't think I have kind of faced any obstacles apart from that uh, People who were involved, you know, kind of they loved the project and it was uh, uh, th their passion and uh, love was a kind of uh, the main vital part uh, throughout the total process of the filmmaking. I selected Drymas and it's particularly that we needed a character like that in our film. And uh, then again, what she she is uh, actually granddaughter of one of the greatest uh, film actress of Bengal, Shuchitra Sen, and kind of she resembles her face. And not only that, you know, the character in our film called Dilaram, which I envisaged, a uh, lot of way kind of there are a lot of similarities. And also, particularly, was keen to kind of portray a Bengali character in the film, although she is a Bollywood star. But she had all that kind of resonance in her character and appearance is very much to do with Bengaliness. And she, is, she was extremely kind of, again, 
wonderful performer she performed so well and she was again kind of um, very helpful all the way through in many many times you know kind of she had to kind of stop our other work and come on our set and finish the film think uh, the total uh, process of this film uh, taught me a great deal uh, particularly uh, traveling from this country going to various locations in Indian subcontinent uh, including Bangladesh various parts of India I met so many different communities different cultures different people that kind of uh, a great deal of kind of um, unparalleled kind of experience when you meet different kind of people and all the way through I think my achievement is that I found so many people they love film in that part of the world and they were always there with a helping hand and I think that is something unforgettable there are moments I can go on and on about you know individuals kind of contribution all the way through and that is a, a wonderful experience The Hassan Raja is a period film. It is set uh, 100 165 years back. Of course, we have to be very careful in terms of kind of set design, in terms of costume, props, and everything. And we had some wonderful kind of people working in the crew. You know, they were kind of done extensive research and came up with all these kind of uh, authentic kind of props, sets, and everything. And particularly costume. You know, the guys from. Uh, various kind of uh, experience and they went through all these details in you know, a kind of minutely detailed kind of um, costume design was carried out and then of course in terms of uh, there are a lot of kind of uh, uh, costume in terms of uh, choreography dances you know the, all that kind of very wonderfully kind of maintained and uh, I think it's uh, again uh, I was extremely lucky to have all these wonderful people working in the crew It is a dream project uh, and partly to do with uh, discovering my roots, you know, where I came from. And the reason is that, I mean, it is very educational. Although the story is set 165 years back, the kind of philosophy he propagated in that time, which is kind of very uh, appropriate till today. And we have forgotten a lot of wonderful things happened in those days, you know, in terms of different communities in those days kind of coexisted side by side and i think we have almost forgotten that as people uh, and uh, people of indian subcontinent we kind of contributed a lot in terms of culture to the world and that particularly that film and the story of hasanra that touches on kind of some of these wonderful wonderful cultural aspects of that time and I think it's very kind of educational for people all over the world, particularly the Bengalis, the Bengali diaspora. And it is, they would, they would actually learn a lot from all that past history. And a dignified history, and which is very important, I think, today for us to look back and learn. देखेला मेरे नायने आपनारे रूप देखेला मेरे